All right, so check it the hell out. I got this, which was the bottom jaw for this robot's head. And uh, so, so far I took it off. Now these eyeballs, here, you know what, I'll animate it for you. All right, so these eyes, when you look at them, you, you can barely even tell right now, but when they move back and forth, one of them's kind of, uh, what happens is the one on the outside turns in more or turns out more and the one on the other side you know it just depends on which direction you're going from so anyways I gotta get in there there's a bar hmm see that bar right there hooked up to the eyeball there's that little bar and goes over to the other eyeball and uh, that little bar is too short so I need to extend it a little bit so I'm gonna make a little contraption that's going to <sighs> make it so that I can uh, uh, what can I do make it so that I can make that little gap in there between between the two eyeballs with the bar make it so that I can make a cut that bar in half make a gap and make this make it so the gap will be adjustable so that uh, I can fine-tune the eyeballs their distance apart from each other all right so I'll show you whenever I get that <coughs> all right so got the head off the uh, off the base so now I can take the eyeballs and uh, you know, move them back and forth nicely and got all that crap out of there so now I can just get straight to uh, this little bar going from there to there and uh, so then uh, in a couple minutes I'll show you the little thingy that I made I, I just gotta make a general complaint that the person that made this thing did not make it to be taken back apart uh, <clears throat> which you know, it was a very intelligent thing to do whenever, you know, you're you're building something. All right. And plus, he uses these kind of little square-headed uh, screws. I don't know. I think that might be a <coughs> European or uh, Canadian thing. But, man, these things are just blah, annoying. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to replace them with... With these Raider Phillips heads so yeah and uh, plus if I need to I think maybe I should fabricate a couple little pieces you know some plates or some crap that might make it so that I might be able to take this and um, make it a little easier to take apart next time all right got the head all the way apart I took the eyeballs out and right here I drilled a new hole for the screw to pivot for the eye to pivot on which uh, vastly makes a huge difference, you know, when uh, the eyes are moving back and forth. Plus, I don't know if I showed you this already, I made this little thing, which will make it so that I put um, uh, that little spoke right there. That little spoke I'll take and put in Put in this hole and then I got that other one on the other side and it makes it so that I can move the you know the pole in and out and uh, then these screws on top you know I screw down anyways so I've uh, taken this eyeball and repaired some cracks on the side you know, put some glue in there, all right, so that's good. I'm going to let it sit for a little while. And also this other one, remember all that, all that crap that's on the side that flashed it that got eaten by the uh, acrylic? Well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to sand this down pretty soon here, a couple minutes. First, I'm going to go out and smoke a cigarette. But uh, then I'm going to sand this it down so it's nice and smooth, so it'll move around inside the uh, inside the eye socket a lot easier. So that'll be nice. All right, so I got the eyeballs back inside where they're supposed to be. I 
polish the side, the eyeballs off so uh, they move around better and uh, it looks uh, pretty good when they move back and forth. So uh, I've modified this thing because it used to be because it used to be kind of like this where it had uh, these two things to hold a servo up. You know, the servo would be like right here facing that direction. Well, what I did was I took one of my special little servo uh, brackets and put it on there. So the servo bracket's a lot nicer and screwed it into the plastic. So uh, yeah, a lot less trouble, a lot better work. All right, so. All right. Got the whole freaking bastard back together. It's all good and spiffy and yeah. Yeah, bro ham. All right. So now, uh, grab this little bastard and here we go. What the hell? Why aren't the freaking eyebrows working now? All right, so I figured out what the problem was with the eyebrows, and uh, it's just a problem. You see, like uh, right inside there, you see that little little tube, and then it goes up to that uh, piece of metal. Well, that little piece of metal pulled out of the tube, so that's just something we're gonna have to fix with uh, with uh, programming, because I'm too lazy to do it right now. Besides, I got somewhere I need to be. Alright, good enough.